Hi everyone, my name is Jason Floyd Fi, and I'm the manager here at York City. I'd like to welcome you all to the start of season two on this journey that we're having, bringing York City up to the Premiership and eventually Champions League winners. Of course, we are starting our journey here in Football League One this season, and it should be an interesting one. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about these press conferences. So they won't be taking place on a daily occurrence, but they'll be taking place before any important event during the season. So maybe before a cup match, transfer windows, any important stuff that I think will be interesting to both the press and the fans at home. One of the biggest questions I've been receiving in the off season is what are my expectations for the upcoming year? And I fully expect us to get promoted once again and make our way to the championship because I feel like we have the chemistry to do so as a team. Another question that I've been receiving quite a bit is what positions am I trying to improve here in the transfer window? And I think we need a little bit more depth at our defense and as our attackers. I think we're pretty good in the midfield, but I think we need a little bit more depth in our strikers and our center backs. And just as a final reminder, if there are any questions you'd like to see answered, please be sure to leave your question down in the comment section below and I'll include them in future press conferences. Hey guys, Flickfy here and welcome to the first episode of Season 2 of my York City career mode. Today I'm going to be going through as much of the transfer window as I possibly can. Of course it's going to be stretching two months so we'll see if we can get uh, maybe up until some of these cup matches or at least through the friendlies at the very least. As you can see, we have quite a few matches in these few months, but you guys left a lot of comments on players you want me to sign, so I have inquired about most of them, and we'll hopefully make a couple of signings here in this episode. And one additional thing, if you guys could leave a like to help support this video, we'll see if we can hit 20 for the first episode of Season 2. That would be greatly appreciated, so let's get into things. So the board has given us our objectives for the season. They want us to reach the round of 32 in the Domestic Cup. They have given us 160000 for our transfer budget, 800 for our weekly wage budget. League objective is going to be finishing mid-table, which is definitely achievable. I'm looking to get promoted this season. And then as you can see, I have started to inquire about Levin Ustanali, a very affordable price right there. He's definitely up there on my targets, and as well as Alfredo Morales. And he is uh, his contract is expiring in 12 months, so I can maybe pick him up on the cheap. We have received a short-term loan offer from Millwall for Ryan Brunt. He's unhappy with his playtime. I am unhappy with how he's been playing in games. So I think having him leave the club for a short bit of time is the best for both of us. All right, guys, for a good portion of the rest of this video, it's going to be a post commentary just because the audio and video footage did get out of sync, unfortunately. I'm not sure why my computer does that, but it happens every now and then. Uh, usually I would just re-record the video, but I was very happy with the highlights from this video and I've already recorded episode 2 and since episode 2 links with episode 1 with the signings and everything, I figured it was best if I just did a post commentary. But as you can see, we did sign Orier, a free agent striker, 65 overall for a very decent price and here we're going to get into both our friendlies. We draw one of them, we lose the other and I wasn't the happiest with that, but it's the preseason so I don't really care. And we're actually going to have three matches in the regular season in this episode. So hope you guys are ready for that. Uh, first match is against Scunthorpe United. Here is the team and here is our live reaction. Carson with his first free kick chance so far this season. He's going to have a go. And gets that one. Oh, target and in. What a goal of the season so far. Man, our first shot on target and what a shot it was. Holy cow, that must be from 30 to 40 yards out. Goodness gracious. Yeah, guys, that free kick from Carson was absolutely ridiculous, and I had to keep that in the episode. I, it took me a while to manage to salvage that footage, but I think I synced it up pretty well. But as you can see, we did win a penalty right here, and Fletcher is, of course, going to step up to take it. He's going to put it off to the right. Keeper goes in the opposite direction, and it's 2-0 for us against Scunthorpe. And as a reminder, we are still on legendary difficulty. I haven't changed anything, uh, despite the fact that we're absolutely demolishing the CPU right now. There you can see Colson gets an opportunity. That one does go out for a goal kick because he touched it last. But here, nice bit of play by McCoy. He steals the ball and makes a great run to space. He's going to see Fletcher on the opposite side, and he will dribble it pretty much to the line, sends it the cross, Fletcher rises, and makes it 3-0 for us in our first match of the season against Scunthorpe. 
and that's the end result. A 3-0 win on Legendary Difficulty. Can't complain about that, and our form has just been stupendous. I mean, <laughs> there's no other way to describe it. We've been playing so well. Here you can see Millwall is trying to go after Keith Lowe. They're not budging on their offered sum, so I do accept it eventually because I really need the transfer funds, and Keith Lowe is a very average center back, and I feel like I can scout someone or find a free agent that is similar and he's gonna cost less but our next match isn't the capital one cup against oxford united here is the team that we're putting out for the match it's a very packed schedule this first month of the season i believe we have somewhere around six matches in total or maybe even seven or something crazy like that uh but yeah oxford came with a nice one no lead for them off a pretty stupid bit of play as you i don't know if you guys saw it but the player fell down and if you guys ever play FIFA, and you know when a player falls down, sometimes the ball stays with him. That was the case there for Potter. But luckily for us in the 79th minute, we managed to tie it up. And we were continuing here on the counterattack. Orier showing that little bit of pace and strength he has. And he is a big man from the Ivory Coast. And he's going to see Fletcher on the opposite side. He's going to play it across. And of course, Fletcher, or actually it's Carson, is going to hit the top of the crossbar. Rebounds back to him. And he's going to put it in. Making it 2-1 two two for us there in the 88th minute. And we managed to win it and move on to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Really happy with the comeback because I didn't want to get kicked out of the Capital One Cup again. Uh, but we go after another free agent here, a left mid. Also looks to have some decent potential in stats, so we're going to approach him for 1,500, which is, again, very, very decent for the wages. As long as it doesn't exceed two to 4,000, I believe Kanja is uh, one of our biggest or most paid players with 4,000 a week. But here they get a free kick. Carson, or Cody Cropper, makes a good save, and Orier is going to clear this one out, and Kanja is going to go on the counterattack with Wes Fletcher. Fletcher is going to go to space, and he's got the pace to get by those defenders, and he manages to do so. It's a one-on-two and the keeper, but he gets taken down inside the box, and that's going to be a penalty kick for us early on in the game in the 12th minute, and we're actually going to have Orier take this one so he can pick up his first goal in the season, maybe gain a little bit of confidence, and he puts it off to the right, and the keeper doesn't even move. So that's Orier's first goal for the team. Glad to see him on the score sheet, and we're going to continue on with Wes Fletcher playing this one through to Penn. Nice bit of passing and a nice control to bring that down, but it is saved by the keeper, and that one is going to stay at a 1-0 match up until the 66th minute. It's going to be them creating an opportunity. They're going to do a nice little bit of passing, but the finish just was not there. And Orier finding Fletcher on the counterattack yet again. He's going to go to space, waiting for Orier to come back, and he does play eventually. Orier takes a touch, goes with his right foot, puts it off to the left, and that's a beautiful finish by him. Picking up his second goal in the match, and that is how the match did end. A 2-0 win for us, so we've won every game this season. We're in really good form, and I hopefully that can continue to the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like down below. Also, leave a comment for me to respond to. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and until next episode, this has been Flickfy. I'll be talking to you all again soon.